Hello everyone, I'm the Ninja Turkey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Uh, so, yeah, last time we got ready for the Pit of 100 Trials, and you'll notice uh, in the upper left my HP is now back up to full, uh, 50 out of 50. I decided to go ahead and uh, go to the flip side end because I realized that a stay at the end was only 5 coins and I had 8. So yeah, um, we are now all ready to go. We've got our... Uh, our super shroom shake, our a million emergency rations, and our big egg. So we should be ready to go. And uh, we're still going with the strategy of Peach because of this thing, the uh, parasol, and Kudge because he makes it easier, easy to hit enemies. So, <coughs> sorry, had to cough. Allergies are getting in, are starting to be a thing now. Uh, this is the entrance to a dangerous dungeon called the Flopside Pit of 100 Trials. Once you go in, it is not easy to leave. Do you want to go in? <laughs> I like how they have no uh, highlighted right off the bat. Yes, I want to go in. So, um, yeah, we're going to be at this for a while. I'm going to cut these into 20-minute episodes, just like I usually do. Or, you know, 20-ish, just because I feel like that's a good amount of time. Uh, but I'm going to be here for like an hour or two, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Oh, and uh, something about the... F uh, pit of 100 trials here um you'll notice there is a timer just like the flip side pit of 100 trials we only have five minutes to clear each room which isn't really that bad um also you'll notice the um all the enemies are black meaning we can't tell what they are uh right you know right when we see them but we can use tiptron here and she'll say oh that's a dark goomba so i don't really know what the point of the of you know darking, ma making all the enemies dark. I don't know what the point of that is exactly. Um, maybe just to make it annoying, so you have to use Tiptron to figure out what they are, but yeah, you get all the information here anyway. Attack, max, max HP is 10, attack is 2. So, like, you know, it, it I, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe there's some other reason I'm not aware of, but, oh, and yay. Yeah, and, uh, if you, if people don't remember from the last bit of 100 trials, uh, the key to open the door to the next room is hidden in a random enemy, so we have to figure out which enemy has the key. And I've actually gone in here a little bit, just to kind of remind... Since it's been, like, two years since I last played this game, I went in uh, and did a few floors off-screen just to kind of uh, remind myself of what uh, the Pit of 100 Trials is like. Because it's very similar... Yay, the key. Because it's very similar to the... Um, it's very similar to the flip side pit of 100 trials, just in the way that it's that it's played. Um, but but also I went in here to remind myself how to actually play this game because it's been a long time. I mean, it, you know, it's pretty simple: D pad to move, two to jump, one to use a pixel. But like, you know, it's been a while, so I I think I think I needed a refresher. I, I didn't go very far. I I think I only got to like the sixth or seventh floor, but it it, it was enough to kind of kind of warm me up a little bit so yeah now we I, I don't the the first like six or seven floors that I did off screen I, I didn't save it so it's not like I, I haven't had any more coins or experience or anything but um well, hold on I want to these guys can be kind of gnarly I'll bet this guy like poisons you or something it's a dark tech cursia they live in the flop side bit of 100 trials max HP is 10 attack is 2 touch it and you can't use techniques for a while you can't tell what kind of Cursia these dark creatures are by looking, so ask me. Yeah, that's... you can't really tell what any of them are. Yeah, so those guys, I know uh, there, there's a kind that sends you back to flip side, or I guess in this case it'd be flop side. So I don't, I don't know if those are in the trials or not, but it would really suck to be attacked by one of those if those are in here. And what does it mean by techniques? Does that mean like pixels? Like I can't use pixels? I, I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something else before I ran into the curse, yeah. Um, I think it was something about how easy the Pit of 100 Trials was. I, I, I don't remember exactly. It was something like that, but, um, or not how easy, how hard it is, rather. Um, oh, shit. Um, at least those only do two damage. There, there There's gonna be enemies later, later, I'm sure, that are gonna be doing a lot more damage than these ones, because... This is the harder pit of 100 trials, so I imagine it's going to get a lot more difficult later on. Um, oh god. I am not on my game right now. I didn't take any damage when I did the, like, trial run I was just talking about. Um, oh god. Okay, I need to really... Jeez, okay. This is ridiculous. I need to, like, focus here. 
Because I've already almost taken a full emergency ration of damage, and that is not a good thing. I need to focus. I, I should be... What I need to do is I need to be patient, because... Especially with these Paragoombas, because they jump up really high. And, uh... And when I jump, I, I don't jump as high as they do, and then I take damage. So I just need to... Five minutes is a long... Is a decent amount of time. I just need to, um... I need to be patient. I need to think about this, like... You know... Critically? Not critically. St strategically? I, I, I guess strategically is the best word to go with that. Um... But yeah, the um, Pit of 100 Trials here... Oh shit. God, 8 damage? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was. Um, oh shit. Uh, I have to remember I still have that. Yeah, I need to use this, like, a lot more. Okay, those things are strong. 8 damage, and we're only on, like, what, the 7th floor or something? A Dark Squiglet. They live in the flop side Pit of 100 Trials. Max HP is 20. Attack is 8. It hops when it sees an enemy, then spits, spits rocks. It spits quickly, so jump as soon as you see it hop, or use your parasol. Some people think that little hop is quite cute. Yeah, except it signifies death, because these things are fucking crazy. God, okay, so that just goes to show how hard this is going to be if enemies are already doing 8 damage, like, Jesus. Um, what are, What's that? I want to figure out what that is. That's a dark chirbel. It's this nasty gas bag spews a pume of gas at its enemies. Max HP of 15, attack is 4, sleepy gas, freezy gas, and poison gas. Some say the gas comes from their mouths, some say it comes from elsewhere, like their butt. <laughs> it's so dark and shadowy, nobody can tell where it comes from. Alright. But yeah, I was saying, like a few minutes ago before I got off, off topic, um, that this... Pit of 100 Trials is going to be hard. Um, we, we can already see that, because uh, the, flop, the flip side one, I remember, was hard enough as you, like, got near the end. And this one is going to be probably pretty difficult. I, who knows if I'm going to make it or not in, on my first try. If I don't, I might have to level up off screen. There, there are plenty of places where you can grind for experience, uh, like Count Black's Castle being a good one. Um... God, there's two of them. Sorry, I had to... F oh, God. I had to focus there. Don't want to take any needless... Any uh, unnecessary damage if I can help it. But, but yeah, if I don't make it the first time, which is quite possible based on these early enemies, I'll have to uh, do some grinding off-screen and uh, try it again, get to a higher level. Because as I said in the last episode, I am a kind of low level for this area, like as low as you should be, really, from what I've heard. Because someone said that, I, I mentioned in the last episode that someone said uh, that like 50 HP is like the minimum you should have, but hopefully we'll be okay. Just have to be careful. More careful than I have been up till now. Um, and again, I have to remember that Peach has the invincibility parasol, which is very useful. And I, I guess another uh, combat, another an, uh, pixel I could use is Slim, because Slim, uh, you know, he he makes you he makes you like untouchable basically. Um, but the problem with Slim is if I want to do a decent amount of damage, I would almost have to use Bowser. And the thing with Bowser is like. I, well, okay, when when I'm... Not not only could I, would I have to use Bowser, also the only damage, like, I could do would be jumping. And I find that to be a problem, especially with, like, those Paragoombas from earlier. I wouldn't want to be, uh... Only jumping to do damage. Uh, because, I don't, I don't know, I feel, I, f I feel like using Kudge is a lot easier, but, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, um... If I used Bowser... I couldn't use his flame attack, uh, if I was using Slim, that is. And, uh... And, uh... Then I wouldn't be able to use any other pixels. Bowser would do more damage and all that, but I, I don't know. I just like the peach Kudge combination, so that's what we're gonna do. What's this? Pipe out of pit. Well, we ain't leaving. We're, we're doing the whole thing. Yeah, so uh, for those who don't know, every ten floors there is a chest with a special item in it, so let's see what this is. Dash shell card. I forget what those cards are for. Are they in... Oh, they're in cards. 
Yeah, I don't know what those do. Um, I forget. I, I think I used to know, but I didn't. Also, every once in a while, every ten floors, there will be uh, a, 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 like a merchant, and he'll like sell us items if we need any. So, I, I don't know when exactly he shows up. I don't know if it's random or what, but the deeper down you go, the more expensive his stuff is. So, might be better to, sh to run into him earlier rather than later. And also... Most of you probably already knew this, but no save points. You'd expect there to be a save point here, but no, there are none. So if we die, we have to start the whole thing over. What the f- <laughs> What the fuck? That- I I'm guessing that's a fuzzy. That fuzzy was just, like, freaking out when we came in. It was like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. This is a dark fuzzy. 15 attack- uh, HP 15 attack 4. They're like all other fuzzies, except they're dark. They bounce around quite randomly. Yeah, I, I can see that. God, I freaking hate fuzzies. Is he, like, tracking to me? He is. Fuzzies are so annoying. Like, in... Mostly in the first two games, just be... God damn it. Mostly in the first two games, just because they, uh... Steal your health. <laughs> um, in the Thousand Year Door and in, uh... Um... Paper Mario. But, uh... Okay. God fucking fuzzies. At least they only do four damage instead of eight, like the other things, whatever they're called. Um... Was I... Oh, yeah. In, in this game, they're not quite as annoying, except that they bounce around randomly. That kind of sucks. Uh... You know, I... <laughs> I am not liking our, our current odds, I guess, since we, uh... Are only on like the twelfth floor and have already take and are already down to twenty six HP. I still have a bunch of healing items, but still makes me nervous. But with uh, unless we do the pit of a hundred trials, I feel like we have a uh, incomplete game. So okay, I do not trust that guy there. I feel like he's going to pop out some spikes or something if I try and jump on him. So we're gonna boomer it up because this seems like a good boomer. Uh, situation. He's not dead yet. Oh, he's not... Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a spiky guy. Um, you know, when I was just looking at the pixels there, I, I kind of wondered what other pixels might be useful here. Um, Thudley, maybe, but no, I, I don't think so. Boomer is useful in some situations, like the one we, we were just in. Um... I feel like Barry might be some use, but like, I don't know. Barry just does that. And for some reason, I feel like that's not exactly what we want. Let's try it on this Curcio, which is probably one of the worst enemies to try it on. But, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> he. I, it's hard to tell where, like, the hitbox is for that, so I'm just going to stick with Kudge. Um, let's, well, we have the key, so we can go on. I'm just trying not to take any damage here, so I'm... Being a little, uh, cautious. So we're on 14. Okay. I wonder if the par- if, like, Paragoombas are gonna get any more, uh... Dangerous? I oh god. No! Okay. I wonder if, like, we're gonna see any more, uh... <clears throat> like, different types of enemies. Like, the Goombas, for instance. Um, I know there's another type of Goomba that... I think is in this game. It's like a gloom gloomba. I think uh, it's like a basically when you can see it and it's not all dark, all blacked out like this. Um, it uh, basically. Sorry, I'm trying to focus and play at the same time here to make sure I take as little damage as possible. Um, basically, it has more HP and more attack. I think it's in this game. I think I remember seeing them in the flip side pit of a hundred trials. Um, I know they're in the Thousand Year Door. They're in, um, they're in the Thousand Year Door, the location in that game. Uh, but you, you know, we won't be able to tell if if we're running into Gloombas or not, since they're a different color. And same with other enemies, like different variations of those enemies. Okay, there's these guys. We gotta watch out for them. Oh God. Okay, he did it again. So he's just gonna keep doing that, isn't he? That's a problem, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of the parasol and hit him, parasol, and hit him fast enough. There we go. Ah! God, so much damage. I don't like it. If only I could tell which uh, enemy had the key, then I could avoid certain ones, and then I, you know, then I could not deal with some, you know, and 
uh, deal with others. This is actually a good Bowser moment because we can just do this as they try and spin at us. Oh, hey, we leveled up. Wait, what? Oh, this is Mer Merlee's spell. I'm like, what? 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 It, what is this? Um, okay. Two to stop the wheel. Fire burst. I don't really have the space for that, though. But I guess I can, uh, I'll, I'll take an emergency ration now. Might as well. Wait, 50? What? Those are only supposed to heal... I better grab that before it goes away. That's only supposed to heal 10, though. Is that another thing? Another part of uh, Merle's spell? It must be. Okay, so that wasn't a level up. That was Merle's spell helping us. Well, that's cool. That was so that was definitely a good thing to get then. It, it helped us twice there, just uh, w with the emergency ration and uh, with um, getting a fire burst. Which, uh, what does that do again? I, I think that does damage. Yeah, broils enemies with searing flames. Doesn't say how much damage it does, but we. Maybe we'll save that for some particularly difficult room in the future. You know, the only... The thing that sucks about the uh, time limit uh, in, the, in the Pit of 100 Trials in this game, in both of them, not just this one, is that if you run out of time, you die. So, like, you, you, it's possible not to die not even from an enemy in this game. It's possible to die just because you didn't find the key in time. And, you know, while... While, uh... Is he gonna pop back, pop back up? While it's not, like, hard to, uh... I'm gonna need Bowser. You know, I take back what I said from earlier. Bowser is actually pretty useful in, uh, the Pit of 100 Trials because of this. Like, that doesn't help with enemies that, like, jump and fly and stuff, but, like, since the, like, corridor corridors are so narrow, he's actually kind of useful, so I might be switching between him and Peach a lot. I don't really see any use for Luigi and Mario, though. They, uh, don't really... I mean, in the last bit of 100 Trials, Luigi's, uh, like, jump ability was good for Fractail... Or not Fractail, um... Whatever the boss was, the, like, copy of Fractail. Um, because, you know, to kill him, but... Other than that, Mario and Luigi don't really have a lot of use in the, uh... Pit of 100 Trials. Not that I can think of, anyway. I totally forgot that I had the key and was just kind of wandering around. But yeah, um, as I was saying earlier, um... The fact that the timer can kill you really sucks. Like, if we were to die to that, it's just like, okay, about that does nothing, apparently. Um, the fact that you can die that way, it just really sucks, you know? Like, I would hate to die to that, and hopefully we won't. Because, uh, again, it's not re really that hard shit. It's not really that hard to uh, find the key in five minutes. The rooms aren't that big. And I don't think they get bigger, either. I think they, they all stay about the same size. Don't quote me on that, though. So yeah, Bowser has no use against these guys. At least not these peop these uh, beetle things where you have to crack their shell. Okay, so it must be this one that has the key. Ah. These guys only do four damage, but it's still that's still a lot, even though it's does not really much for this pit of hundred trials. Already down to thirty-eight HP again, man. <laughs> this pit is going to be a doozy, I can tell. That's the sound of fuzzies. I don't like that sound. And I'll bet one of the fuzzies probably has the key. Yeah, you know, I wonder if the enemies are randomized. I kind of doubt they are. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure all the enemies are in here are handcrafted. Yeah, one of the fuzzies definitely has the key. This is another Bowser moment. Bowser is actually probably pretty good against these guys. Problem with Bowser is he's slow, and you know we have a time limit, so that is an issue. But you know I can easily sw switch between him and Peach. Key, yay. Might as well kill this one, too. Mysterious power makes you jolly. Start the wheel, wheel of fun again? I don't have enough space for all these items you're trying to give me, Merle. Um, let's see. Volt Shroom. Okay, so okay, now we have two items to choose from here. A Life Shroom and a Volt Shroom. While we are full on items. Um, 
I don't really want to use one of these in case, um, in case, uh, Merle's thing activates and we get 50 HP from it again, so as much as useful as those items would be, I don't know if I want them. I'm, well, okay, here, let me think. The Life Shroom might be more useful than the Fire Burst because it heals HP over time. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it does. So I could get rid of the Fire Burst. The Volt Shroom, I believe, makes, like, you, like, it, it it makes you electrified, like the character. So uh, that could be useful if enemies like attack us. But I think we're going to get rid of the fire burst. How do I get rid of it? Can I not get rid of it? Do I have to actually use it? Um, well, we're going to use the fire burst to get rid of it. And then I'm going to pick up the life shroom. Because anything with life is a good thing. Okay. So, yeah, automatically restores... Oh, that's actually really nice, because if we die, then it'll bring us back. Okay. Yeah, that's that was that was the right choice, I think. Um, you know, how close are we to leveling up? Does it say? Because leveling up will be a good thing in this game. Because uh, when we level up, it should heal our HP, and that, that's a very nice thing to have in the Pit of 100 Trials. Um, so we're at, what, 69 whatever? What is that? That's 6 million... No, 694,690, and we need to get to 720,000 to level up. So that's not too far away, I don't think. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, oh, there's the there's the door. I was going to switch to Peach to move faster, but the door is right here, so. <coughs> Man, my voice is going to, like, have some issues with uh, talking for this long. I can already kind of feel like... I can already kind of feel that it's a bit fatigued. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have recorded today. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, it's going to throw a... Oh, God. Okay. Um, This is a not a good situation. You know, I guess something that Mario does have in this is he can flip. So, like, if I flip... Problem is, he doesn't... Uh, you just fall to the bottom when you flip. But that is a good... Um, that is a good method of getting through, like, the area. Okay, now Bowser. <laughs> I guess this is a good time to have Bowser and Slim, but this is a boomer moment if I've ever seen one. Pretty sure I said, like, that exact line when I, uh, when I did the flip side pit of 100 trials, because, uh, I was, I, I went back to watch, uh, what I uh, when I played that, and just just to kind of... Well, I think the reason I did it was because I wanted to see how long it took me, and it was like a little over an hour. Um, I don't know if it'll, if this if this playthrough will... Uh, if this Pit of 100 Trials will take that will take that long or not, but... And I, and I remember saying that exact line. Floor 20, awesome. Or room 20, rather. What's in the chest? You got a Goombario card. Wait, you mean Goombario from the first Paper Mario? <laughs> I'm playing through that game right now, so like, is it, isn't it it in alphabetical order? I don't think it is. I want to see that card, because like, Goombario is awesome. And the, what was the last one? Dash L, I think? Let's see. There's like a lot of cards, aren't there? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Goombario. Mario and Goombario go way back to Paper Mario. Enemies suffer when he uses his head. Cool. Yeah, you see, you know, those are kind of cool rewards for completing uh, 10 floors. Uh, but I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try and clear about 20 floors per episode, uh, even if it goes above 20 minutes like this one is. Uh, so yeah, next time we will hopefully get to floor 40. So thanks for watching.